Matryoshki series thoughts. So, with the final episode, I kind of realized, I think Cassandra was her name. I'm not even going to bother trying to correct myself here. Because she was completely unimportant to the entire series. That is my point here. There's no reason for her to be there. The one reason she was there at all was so we could have the voiceover at the very end of her saying, Are you stupid? They're just going to sell you. I get that that's a good way to end it, but she was m she was in the first episode, and then she was mentioned, I think, in the second one, and then they kind of forget about her, including her best friend, until like the eighth or ninth episode, when you know it's revealed that not only was she killed, she was also raped. At what point I bother? Why the heck do you not just simply extract some DNA? It would be, yeah. I don't know, maybe there isn't a lot of, you know, maybe it's difficult to get, you know, the police of two different countries to work together. We need an international task force to handle this problem. I think that would be the best. Anyway, she was clearly only there for that. You know, you could have written her out. You could have had one of the other girls be saying that and then... I don't know. Anyway, it just... You, you can't have a character and just only appear for that tiny amount of time. Why did her friend completely forget about her? Why didn't they take the cell phones away? They keep talking about, oh, I have no more on my you know, telephone card. Why do they still have their cell phones? Would they not be able to call it... Why, why doesn't any of them... Why... Anyway... None of them seem to call the police at any point. Why was the journalist there other than, you know, to present some threat? There are way too many scenes in this of just people yelling at each other. It's not it's not drama, okay? It's just it, it gets grating when that's all we're seeing. Almost every other scene was a two or more people yelling at each other. We don't need that. It, it n tends to not lead anywhere. It's fine to have people yelling at each other when it then leads to, okay, these two people aren't going to work together anymore, or, you know, one of them gets so frustrated that he kills the other, or something. Just have something happen. It's... I, I almost thought I was watching a Danish production. I, I didn't realize that there were other European countries that made fiction that is so unwilling to take the consequence of what it shows. You know, in our movies, you know, hardly anyone dies. At the end of the movie, it might all turn out to be, ooh, a big misunderstanding, you know, and it's... But in this, also, no, you know, hardly anything happens. Why do they keep these girls? Why do they put up with all these problems? Earlier, they kill two and cut their heads off. Why don't they get more girls. They keep talking about, oh, we're not making enough money with these. And then suddenly they send them out to, you know, be escort girls with no, you know, one of them even mentions, some of them haven't even been to the separé or what you might call it. Why don't they just pick up some more girls? They didn't seem to have that much trouble. It didn't seem to be a huge investment. If there is a reason, just tell us, you know, it's fine if there is a reason, but there were so many things in this that just didn't it wasn't explained why they didn't do these things. Far too often we don't know the motivation of these characters and you just, you can't do that in something this long and this, you know, far too many scenes, I have no idea what either of them want. Then we have the uh, the whole Vincent situation. At first I wasn't even sure why they kept him around. Then you realize, oh, he has the same last name as John. And then a little later we realize, oh, it's his son. You know, at first I thought it was an uncle-nephew thing, but I think it's Ray who calls John uncle. But anyway. <sighs> Clearly, 
the reason they kept him around at all was he was, you know, the son. And I suppose he's that much of a psychopath because he's been, you know, spoiled. He's a spoiled little brat now, he's grown up, he still thinks he can get away with anything. And in a lot of ways he kind of can. He got off pretty easily, you know, just one swing to the back of the head and that's it. You know, not you know, dying in prison with a life sentence or something, but anyway. Why didn't they tell us earlier that he was the boss's son? You know, John wasn't even introduced until, I don't know, maybe halfway through or something. It Early on, I, I thought that Ray was, you know, the final link of it, and then... Yeah, and why do they keep making these stupid mistakes also, the bad guys? You know, they're making mistakes that would make me think they wouldn't last a week. The owner of the club forgets to renew their visa. How do you do that? That's just, that. that's like the first step, I would think, you know, if if you don't do that, they're, the police are going to pick them up and send them back, you know. There was no real closure to, you know, Redhead's whole thing with, you know, okay, she gets sold, she kills the guy, then she gets back, and now they have something to hold over her. But other than that, there was no reason for her to get sold. It was just so they could have someone be sold to a private person, because, you know, that probably happens, I'm sure. And then, that's kind of it. A little later, she she's like, I'm, you know, yes, I'm gonna steal from you, and if you cross me, I will kill you. And that's kind of it, you know. The last thing we see of her is her complaining that she's not getting to, you know, get the money back. And I suppose that's realistic enough. You know, I was watching this with my father, and he pointed out, well, technically, it's, you know, it was money earned from crimes committed, so, you know, prostitution is apparently illegal in Belgium. The series also didn't bother to tell us this until very late. I get. Yeah, I get it. It's a Belgium production, but still, Presumably, they were expecting to sell this to other countries. Also, you might want to point out that, oh, by the way, in our country, it's, you know. Anyway, th that that was kind of it. You know, there was no proper closure to her. You know, suddenly she was just, you know, borderline psychotic, and we don't go anywhere from there. It. It seemed to start out focusing on what it did to these girls, but then it kind of forgot. Also, why were they at the club there at the end? It's a crime scene. It's going to be shut down at, at the very least. Why didn't they just stage the scene with the two of them meeting outside of the club with, you know, police tape around it and like maybe a sign closed under investigation, you know, something. And, you know, the other one asks Daria, would you really want to go back? Done. You know, you have the scene. And it's... Yeah. Anyway, I think that's all I'm going to do for now. If there's anything else you want to ask me about what happened in the series, down below.